How's it going? Welcome back to the daily vlog. Today we are continuing on a job that I actually started yesterday. I was working by myself yesterday, so I didn't really take the time to do anything because needed just to get some stuff done. So let's turn around and see what's going on here. So this is what I got accomplished yesterday. We pulled the stove out, the refrigerator out, and got the kitchen and dining area done. I didn't put the refrigerator back yesterday because we got a put trim there and I didn't have it yesterday. So we'll get the trim put down today and get this refrigerator put back. I'm gonna take, uh, trim all this stuff out. What I'm also doing is this is getting vinyl plank here and then there, and I'm going to attempt to get these bathrooms done as well. We got a bathroom here and master closet. I can't remember if that gets carpet or plank. I think it gets plank. So. We're gonna try to get this bathroom and the other hall bathroom finished and trimmed out today along with this. And uh, I'll show you the other bathroom really quick. This is just a little simple five by whatever, five by five or something like that. It's usually what they are. I ain't even put a tape measure down on it. But anyway, while I'm working in here today doing uh, Working on this, my guy right now, Luke, is outside staining some quarter round for the cabinets. I'm gonna get him to tearing up and getting this carpet right here all tore up and ready because as soon as we're done with the plank, we're gonna install carpet throughout the rest of the house. So this is what we'll do tomorrow as far as carpet. So getting finished up on the plank and prepped out for the carpet tomorrow. One of these miter finders is almost crucial in order to get good miters on your quarter round, almost everything nowadays are not accurate if this had been a 45 cut it would have been awful 90 percent probably 99 percent of my corners that i have to cut are either 46 47 or 48 degrees this in here is a 47 and you can see that so had it been cut on a 45 it just would have been horrific so 20 bucks and get you one of these super helpful in the outside corners you need them hola lucas hola. how's it going buddy going good you getting there i'm getting there all right we got the man cleaning up in here as i'm finishing up the laundry room uh let's see here look for the type of carpet this is we're going to have to pull this tack strip rather than just secure it it's too okay. far Yep. too far from the baseboard to make do and uh you can go ahead if you want to and pull this quarter around and stuff and these staples right here will need to come out too okay yep. everything is looking good making a little bit of progress here good job lucas and just about we got all this stuff in here out of the way we got all the quarter round down everywhere in the kitchen now. Uh, refrigerator, everything is back in here. Got one more board to put down in here. Be able to trim this out. And then uh, probably gonna start that other bathroom over there, the smaller one today. So one thing about this job that's been really nice so far is this is the first time these floors have ever been redone, except for when the house was brand new built so these are the original floors that we're covering up so therefore we have no quarter room to take off so everything's nice and fresh easy to get a that's just one more thing you don't have to do is pull quarter around clean the caulking up and all that stuff so really nice just to come in here got one to pull in front of the tub but as far as anywhere around the baseboard there ain't been none come in here pull the commode cut the jams sweep it and be done get going so here's a little fact that i did not know Ever. I've dealt with this stuff quite a bit, but I didn't know. Listen, a little bit sticky right around the edge of that. You guys probably installed some that has that little stickiness right around the perimeter of the foam. I always thought it was a, you know, maybe just a little bit extra where the foam didn't get on there, but it's actually an adhesive to securely fasten one plank to the next and uh if you will 
check out the QR code on the box of this stuff. It actually tells you not to mop it for seven, I think seven days after. You're not supposed to wet mop this stuff for seven days after you install it and that gives the adhesive there more time or proper time to cure before you get it wet. So I didn't know that, just found that out about this stuff. Alrighty, it is four o'clock. We'll do a little walkthrough real quick and just show you what we got accomplished today. Let's get turned around here and take a look. Okay, so this morning when we got here, I was working about right here is all I had was one plank. Uh, I think about right here is where I was. So from here over, we got this completed with trim and everything. Up to the master bedroom doorway, we got the washer and dryer in. Worked around this. That was super easy since the water heater is pushed back far enough on the pan. It's really easy to just raise up and slide your planks under that. So I was really thankful that that was pushed back there a little bit. Uh, washer and dryers all back in. Put a new hose on there. Cool around. Everything's nice, pretty, cocked up. Luke does a really good job on caulking everything. And in here, we got all these doors pulled and ready. We didn't get it done today, but we did get quite a bit done. This is getting vinyl plank in here, so I had him in here getting ready for this. Got all the carpet up, and we did, didn't quite get the tack strip up, but we'll get to that in the morning. Uh, over here on the other side of the house, we'll take a look. I think I want to put a piece of wood trim right there, a stained piece instead of a white. I think that'll look better. <laughs> That's okay. But anyway, we got all this pulled up. This is uh, getting vinyl plank right here. This is all completely ready, tack strip up, swept and everything like that. There are some squeaks in the floor that I will address in the morning. Notice right in here. So we'll address all that stuff first thing in the morning before we cover it up. We did get this little bathroom done, minus the piece in front of the tub, because I'm going to put a, one of the rubber self-adhesive self pieces right there. I like to put, if I got to put quarter round by the tub, I want it to be the rubber one, just so it don't get black and nasty looking from water. But anytime I work next to a black cabinet like this, I'll always take and just use a dark walnut is what I do with that, so. You could either do that or spray paint it, and I'm just not a huge fan of spray paint and stuff like that, so that's what I do with that. Uh, that failed to get cocked right there. We'll have to address that in the morning as well. But anyway. Alrighty then, I appreciate you guys once again turning into the daily vlog. It is now 420. We just pulled out of the customer's driveway, so uh, you seen what all we had done. Tomorrow's going to be a really nice day. We got the master bathroom and closet to finish up with vinyl plank and then we're going to get working on some carpet got a nice carpet going in there a nice pattern i haven't actually seen it uh i just pulled the edge of it up so i could see kind of what kind of carpet i was working with i pulled the edge up on the row and i couldn't see that much in it so i don't even know what kind of pattern it's got to it but they got uh one two three different kinds of carpet or excuse me three colors of carpet all the same carpet just different colors so it's going to be, um, i hope the carpet store allowed matches on the bedrooms and stuff like that so that i could match up uh the bedrooms with the hallway and stuff since it is the same carpet it's a different color but it is the same carpet so i hope you thought about that and allowed for it because that would just be nice uh one pattern flowing right into the other room and changing colors i think that would be pretty cool so i'm excited to see what we got going on with that Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to the daily vlog. Luke, you want to say hello? Adios, amigo. Until tomorrow, FBSB is...